just give you a bit of a sneak peek. We're going to go over to a dark here in a second, but look at this. It's so beautiful. Celebrating summer. Perfect prints for summer. Um, it's such a gorgeous skirt, isn't it? So this is going to be coming out. We're going to show you beginners. Don't fear. If you're worried about pattern matching, if you're worried about working with wax fabrics, we're going to talk through it. We're going to dissect that at 10 o'clock. But anyway, let's go across. So, hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. It's so lovely oh. to finally meet you. I loved your show when you were on with John. I Thank watched it you. all back. And as did everybody else. Um, it was very, very, very popular. <laughs> And since then, I've been reading a lot about you. I've been reading your blogs as well. And I just find you absolute inspiration. Oh, thank you. Somebody I've only been um, sewing for the last couple of years since I've been a part of Sewing Quarter. Yeah. So to see your journey in dressmaking and your passion for your African wax fabrics is amazing. Because you're you. a very busy lady, yeah. aren't you? We think <laughs> yeah. that we're quite manic here this morning. <laughs> this must be the story of your life. <laughs> yes. You're up at 3 a.m. this morning. To I be was, with us. yes. So, thank you very much. You're welcome. So, we are going to launch, we've got lots of brand new fabrics as well you've brought in. Yes. Plus your pattern later on. Yes. In fact, let me show you your pattern, because this <laughs> is going to be coming up at 10 o'clock. Um, so, is this the first pattern that you've created? It is. Yes, and I create, thank you. Um, I've created it specifically because many people um, who I would meet at shows ask me, um, have often asked me, to recommend patterns for sewing with wax prints. What, what, what would I advise them about sewing with wax prints? And so I just thought, well, why don't I just make a pattern yeah. as a beginner's pattern yeah. for people who are either new to sewing and or new to sewing with um, wax prints? And so here it is. So wh where did your sort of passion for wax prints start? I mean, from um, my culture and my heritage it's something that I've always I've grown up with it shall we yeah. say and so um, what would happen is that whenever we went to kind of family parties or weddings or birthdays we would all wear the wax print then um, and I mentioned this when I was on the show last time uh, one evening I was at a black tie do yeah. and I saw a lady wearing a sari and she looked beautiful and um, I just thought to myself, well, hang on a minute. If she can wear a sari to this type of event, then I can wear something made up in wax print. And that kind of got me started because right. then what I started doing was I'd kind of buy fabric that I liked and I'd find a tailor because the um, Nigerian tailors, they do the freehand cutting right. um, techniques. And so I could literally say to them, oh, I really like this dress that I've seen in, say, Grazia magazine, yeah. but I want it in that fabric. Can you yeah. do it for me? And they yeah. would. Yeah. And sort of then, so th this was sort of maybe 2000, 2010. Sort of. mm -hmm. So then when I started sewing in 2016, this was only ever going to be the fabric I sewed with. Right. And so that's kind of how... You know, we're here today. So how is this different from um, your ordinary cottons or jerseys or viscose or any fabrics that we may be familiar with? How sure. is this different? Um, I think one of the major differences is that it's printed on both sides of the fabric. Oh, so those of you that have worked with batiks as well before, yes. is it similar to It batiks? is similar. It certainly um, has a lot of batik influence in the yeah. fabrics. Um, what you might find with a lot of cottons is that the side that is the fashion side, so to speak, will be nice and bright. But then when you turn over, the underside will be kind of white. Right, okay. It's only printed on one yeah, side. Yeah. And whereas these are printed on both sides. And so it really adds to the vibrancy of the fabric. Now, this is virtually a, a bolt, right, really. This is four and a half metres of Four and a half metres, yes. Um, and this is the Ladybird African Wax. So how do they dye it? How do they create so, these prints? Um, because quite often with batiks, yeah. it can look quite sort of random, can't it? Sure. Whereas this is a really strong print. Sure. So um, this is done using roller machines. Um, they start with uh, plain white cotton, and then they um, take two colours as their sort of base colours, and they use wax mm. to help the colours resist the fabric okay. and thereby create a pattern. And then they go over that with the actual pattern that the fabric is going to be. Oh, how incredible is that? <laughs> this is brand new today, by the way, brand new. So how can I use it? I really would love the print. How, yeah. how can I use this? In, like you said, dresses, yes. you can still sew with it as normal. Yes. 
Um, it's 100% cotton. Okay. Um, it's quite a structured fabric. There it is. Um, so it's really easy to sew with, actually. It's a great, great fabric to sew with. Uh, people have, apart, apart from dressmaking, so skirts, dresses, jackets, oh, trousers, yeah. really anything um, by way of clothes making, but then also cushions, curtains, upholstery. Really anything that you can think of to make with fabric, you can make with wax print. Oh, I love it. I absolutely <laughs> love it, especially this time of year. It's so beautiful and bright and bold, isn't it, for summer? Okay, so are all of these four and a half then? Am I right? Yes, these all are all these sold are... as four and a half metres. Gosh, amazing. Okay, so this one is one of my favourites. <laughs> I think we've got to open this out because look at the colour and the prints on this. In fact, I'm going to move these across. We're going to need a bigger desk for this. <laughs> oh. I've never ever seen, ever, you know, especially like you said, when you're looking at fashion in Grazia magazine, to sure. be able to create something that is um, sort of lovely and fashionable, very high fashion, but still with these lovely traditional bold prints. Yes. It's brilliant, isn't it? And these are made in Holland, am I right in saying that? Yes. I don't know how... Shall I hold it? Or should we hold it one of each end so yeah, we can show fine. how sort of big it is? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't know we'll be able to show its entire. We can I can try. Cross. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Look at how much fabric you get. There is loads and loads and loads and loads. But it's. I wanted to get across the beauty of that print, how bold the colours are. Now, washing these as well, these are fine yeah, washing. Yes, and... so um, 30 or 40 degrees in your machine. Wow. Um, a, a short spin. Yeah. And that's fine. And then press before you cut the fabric. Just now, to I soften saw you it a bit. pressing your skirt that yeah. you've got here. You were fine with steam, just going yep. for it, and it yep. handles beautifully. It does. Look at that. 53.99, so you get four and a half metres of this beautiful print. Um, I'm not sure whether there's actually anything else quite like this one. And but I think you've got to make something of a feature of this, this big, um, the big floral. Let me come and um, hold this <laughs> We won't do this for all of them, but I just wanted to give you some sort of perspective of, of how amazing and how big this is. So do you only sew with um, the... Yes, yes, the mainly. Um, in fact, almost exclusively, although I am beginning to branch out right. into other fabrics yeah. as well. Because actually, what's quite nice, I don't know if you remember the last time I was on, yeah. so I had the dress, yeah. but then I'd um, added some sleeves, okay. and they were crepe lined with lace. So lace sleeves lined with crepe just as kind of a trimming oh, lovely. and you can do that so you, you can, can still mix it in completely completely oh, amazing so you can still mix it in it does have structure to it doesn't it it yeah. is really really lovely yeah. which of course like you said i suppose makes it easier to sew with i think yes. my fear is dressmaking when you start looking at slippy fabrics yes. and you know different um properties of different fabrics yeah. it just confuses <laughs> me a bit so this is lovely to know that you can just start sewing yes yes okay Again, beautiful reds. This one's called Red Flower. Yes. Is this similar to the other one, but in yes. a red? So there's a, there's a few of them that I've called the flower garden sort okay. of range. So there's a red, there's the blue, there's a yellow, there's a plum, and there's a turquoise. Yeah, amazing. In fact, that's the turquoise on the on the skirt, on, oh, the, on the, the mannequin. Oh, yeah, 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 lovely. That's coming up later yeah. on as well. Yeah. Um, the red flower, that is gorgeous. £53.99, and remember that is for the whole four and a half metres in length. Four and a half metres. How wide is this as well? It's 47 inches. 47 inches wide. Yeah. 47 wide and four and a half metres in length. I love that colour. I can't believe how vibrant they are. Yeah, and it's the, it's, it's the printing, it's the way that they're printed mm -hmm. with the wax that creates that vibrancy and the boldness of the colour and it really doesn't fade. I mean, you can wash and wash and wash, press and press, and it really doesn't fade. So have you now been to lots of events where you're wearing, um, you know, your wax prints and different dresses now? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've done quite a few shows and I've got more later on this year as well. So, oh, brilliant. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, honestly, a, a docu is so, so busy because you're actually a barrister as well, aren't you? Yes. 
you're a barrister, you've got children, you're up at three o'clock this morning. I know, everyone's saying, how do, and you said you sew every single day, don't you? Oh yeah, pretty much, yeah. yeah. I always, I like to, I just think it's one of those things, like anything, if you don't do something, I try to do something towards it, even if it's just that I'm reading a page in a book about sewing, right. even if it's just that I'm thinking, hmm, what's my next project, or, yeah. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> okay, then this beautiful, oh my word, I hope, on camera, you can see the colour on this because cameras tend to compress the colour slightly. <laughs> can you believe it? Look at how bright that is. Fifty-three ninety-nine. Do you have a favourite print? Hmm. Yes, I, I do. It's coming up. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming up. Oh, you have to tell us. <laughs> this is so gorgeous. I'd love. I'd love to go. Actually, did you say that this is where is it actually printed? Then in Holland. Some are printed in Holland. Um, some are printed in Korea. Um, some are printed in um, China and yeah. you know other yeah. places. Obviously, printed in Africa as yeah. well. Yeah, but yeah, just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? That all it, every single one has such a beautiful pattern and gorgeous colour. Fifty-three pounds ninety-nine again for four and a half meters. I do love yellow. <laughs> it's absolutely my favourite. And like you said, even actually outside of dressmaking, sure. home furnishing as yeah. well. I'm thinking yeah. or bag yeah. making. Yeah, scatter cushions. You mentioned scatter cushions yeah. the other day, so. There's um, someone I've seen um, on Instagram, I think they're kind of decking in their garden, yeah. literally they've got scatter cushions in wax. Oh, <laughs> amazing. See this four and a half metres as well is going to go a long, 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 long way. Um, we've got some of the, a lot of people are asking about certain prints that we had from the, the last show. We are going to bring some of them back. So, um, oh, yeah, okay, great. Bear with us, okay. If we manage to get through this hour, we've got so much to do because we want to do some sewing with you as, uh, later as well. Be You've been very yeah. kind to say you'll stay yeah. for a longer so we can introduce the pattern as well. Right, now this again. I'm trying to work out the best way that I can show you these prints. Oh. I'm wrestling with all this fabric. There you go. And so the print, is, is there a right and wrong side there to this? There is. So, uh, where you see, so you've got writing on the selvage, yeah. and where the writing is sort of the right way up, as I yeah. would say, that that's the right side. And then when you look and it's kind of backwards yeah, or in yeah. a mirror, ah. that's the wrong side. Right, so we're looking at the wrong this side. This is the wrong side. And look at how vibrant it still yes, is. Yes. But if we turn it over, yeah. then that's the right side. That's the right side. And Gosh. what I like to do, um, because there's often very little difference between the yeah. right and wrong side. On the wrong side, I like to take chalk. Okay. So for the pattern pieces, perhaps just before I've cut out, because once you've lost the selvage, because you've cut your piece, you might not, you won't no, be, yeah. so I mark with chalk the Which wrong side, the and then once I've cut out, I still know to the wrong side. Yeah, there's a, go, a good top tip, there you go. 53.99, again, absolutely beautiful. Loads of people have got these in the baskets. Every, well, the last time you were here, I think everything sold out. And again, very, very busy. As soon as you've got something in your basket, I really, really do advise to check out as these four and a half meter bolts are extremely limited. We're really, um, we are restricted on numbers for the larger bolts. 53 pounds, 99 pence. Okay, should we carry on? Let's do the next one. Oh no, I'm sorry to our floor managers. I'll do my best to fold all these nicely. <laughs> okay. Right, the blue and orange. I this know, one's that's gorgeous. Lovely as well. yes. Okay. Teardrops in blue. Tear Teardrops in blue. Yeah, Teardrops go for in it. Teardrops in orange, sorry. <laughs> blue, that blue and me. orange, my word, yes. I love that colour combination. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. There you go. That's the right side. That shows enough. I bet it's so difficult to sort of choose all the different patterns and come up with different colour combinations no, as well. No, it must be, it must be. And this is similar to what I've... Oh yeah, very yeah. similar. Yeah. I don't know, can you see the skirt? Ish, if you want Shall to, I? do you want to go into the centre? <laughs> Take a twirl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is very similar actually. Is it the same print, just in a different colourway? The same print in a different colourway. And I love how you sort of centralised. Yep and positioned that center um, sort of pattern. Yes. So you could fussy cut this to color exactly. block it. Now exactly. you're gonna talk about that as well, aren't you? Yes, you can come back. yes, thank you. Um, we can yes. talk about that in the next show with sure. you as well. Because sure. I think that's gonna be a lot of people thinking, right. Yes, a lot of people say to me, they love the fabric, what do we do with it? We love yeah. the fabric, what can we sew with it? So yeah, I've got, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, we'll go through everything. We'll go through all of that. If you've got 
any questions whatsoever, then please, please do get in touch with us. Please do um, send in your messages for Adaku and I'm sure uh, we'll be able to answer them. This is so gorgeous though. It feels, you can feel the quality of you it, can, can't you? You can. I mean, the other thing I'd say about sewing is to, with the larger prints, perhaps avoid patterns that have the commercial patterns that have lots of little pieces. Okay. Because what will happen, particularly with one of the, some of the flower gardens, like the mannequin, um, is that you'll just hack through the, the gorgeous print. I understand. What you'd yeah. want is to retain as of much that. of that yeah. as possible. Yeah. Again, we're going to talk through how to cut then to make the most of that beautiful sure. print. It's like a lotus flower, that one. Yes, that's what John said last week. Last time. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, I love that. £53.99. I bet he was in his element as he well. Was. He was <laughs> loving it. It is stunning fabric. It really is. Look at all of the detail as well. Because the, the background, it doesn't look like a real... Oh, is that the wrong side? Yeah. How crazy is that? It's still so vibrant. No. Yeah, like you said, that's why if you chalk, then you'll be able to spot the Yeah, difference. yeah, yeah. But I love the detail, even every single little print, every little dot you can see it's amazing. really clearly. All the hidden detail is just incredible. £53.99, just a reminder, it's 40, what's the word? 7 inches, 47 inches. 47 inches wide. Four and a half metres. Did you bring any bolts last time? Did we see it? A few. A few. We saw a few. These <laughs> There's are... more this time. Is this one new as well? No. No, this one we saw last time. Yeah. This was the, the one that John was saying is like a lotus flower. This was very, very popular last time. 53.99. Okay. Have we got to your favourite yet? It's just coming now. <laughs> oh, is this it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it does look nice. Have we got any? Is this the only colourway that this one's in? Yes. Yeah. Amazing. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm oh, you're doing these... a grand job. <laughs> I'm not. Grand job. Do you ever hear everybody saying that I need to go on a folding call? <laughs> My folding's not the best. I don't think there's an easy way to fold no, no, four and a half metres live on telly. There's a lot of fabric. Gosh, look at this. this I think we should gorgeous. open this out. Yes. I think I have to. Oh my word. Gosh, that is beautiful. It's stunning. They're like chandeliers. They are, yeah, chandeliers and fireworks. <laughs> Gorgeous. What would you do with this? It would have to be a circle skirt. <gasps> it has to be a circle skirt because there's just, you don't want to lose really any of the kind of beautiful design. Gosh, that is stunning. This is the only one that we have. There's no yeah. other colourways. If you no. want the chandelier, the candles and fireworks, African fr uh, wax fabric, there's only two more, I believe, of the larger bolts, and then we're going into half metres. Um, so make the most of this whilst it's available. It's 53.99. Beautiful. Have you made anything with this no, one yet? No, I'm too scared. <laughs> I know, I'm too scared, can you imagine? It's one of those that you just it's want just, to hold and look yeah, at and think about what you're going to so use. so beautiful. Yeah, I would definitely, definitely. Even or if you maybe in the home. It is very dramatic, isn't it? <laughs> it's so dramatic. I mean, could you use this for things like, um, I don't know, like uh, curtains or different? Definitely. Yeah. That would look amazing as yeah. well. Definitely curtains, throws, yeah. quilts. Yeah, could you quilt with it? Yeah. Absolutely Backing. amazing. That would look amazing. Uh, four and a half metres, £53.99. So it's actually very, very versatile, isn't yes, it? Yes, incredibly. Don't be scared of working no, 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 no. with white fabrics. <laughs> okay. We'll it's just, it's just sort of, I guess, matching the, um, the design to the right project. Yeah, absolutely. Making the most of those prints sure, that you said. Sure. Now, we've got the one that you're wearing, your oh, yes. <laughs> So, the one that you're wearing is this one. Now, if you, I think this is probably one of the most subtle in terms of, it's okay. still bold and bright, yeah, sure. but if you're thinking that it might be too bold for me, sure, sure. then this one, I think is, is slightly, slightly more subdued. Needed, it is, yeah. yeah, it yeah. is amazing. Yeah. Again, they remind me of um, peacock feathers. You know, I've, I've heard that. I've heard that. I don't know. I, I saw teardrops. Yeah. In fact, we've got <laughs> yeah. this the wrong way as well. Yeah, yeah. There you go. 
Thank you. It's all right. <laughs> So you can see then those beautiful colours, but the reverse, I mean, it is virtually identical, isn't it? Which I love as well. £53.99, lots of lovely messages oh. for you, by the way. Um, hi, Adaku. Uh, Adaku is lovely and the fabrics are incredible. Oh, thank you. Do you design them yourself, Marion said? No, I no. don't. No, I source them. Yeah. I choose them, but I don't, I don't design How them. How do you choose? How do you It's hard, choose? it's yeah. hard. Um, it is hard to choose. I just sort of look for long enough and think, yes, OK. And think, oh, what could you make as well? Yeah. Or, you know, I try to put myself in the shoes of other people and think, well, what could they make? Yeah. And what might they make? Would they make anything or would they make... And that, that's how I sort of come to a decision. Yeah, it is beautiful. And where do you source them? Do you go all over to... So London, Manchester, yeah. um, I import. Yeah. So, yeah, different places. <sighs> Amazing. Oh, that, they are gorgeous i think everybody will agree they're beautiful we're getting lots of lovely messages coming through thank you 53 pounds and 99 pence four and a half meters and the last one oh. which um chris is saying is his favorite oh oh it's the one it's the one that's on the mannequin yes oh it's it is beautiful yeah. all of our everybody that was in the office everybody was oh, in love with this one good, when we were looking good. at it okay. we're getting there a bit <laughs> Sorry. It's a lot of fabric. <laughs> right, the next one is the one that you can see on the skirt in the centre there. It's called, is this the flower garden as well? Turquoise, yeah, turquoise flower garden. I think this does work perfectly in that skirt. And actually, you said that is a, a, a pattern that we're going to be looking at later. Yes. That you said is absolutely beginners, yes. go for it. Yes, completely. And it's, it's a perfect one because if you want a nice bold print, a nice large print, it won't hack through your, <coughs> your design. Oh, brilliant. Look at that. <laughs> £53.99. And again, uh, Doc is going to show us how best to, to do sort of colour blocking and pattern matching yes. as well with it. Four and a half metres. With your turquoise, this is the last of the bolts, by the way. So all of them are going to be underneath us on the web. If there's any that you want us to recap or know any more about, then let us know. Uh, just so you know, a lot of these are virtually sold out now. So if you do want any of the four and a half meter bolts, then do make the most of them whilst they're available. £53.99. That is stunning. I love that combination of colour. It's gorgeous. Turquoise and mustard. It's is lovely. really nice. <laughs> Should we do them by the half metre? Yes. Easier to fold. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Please, for, for us, can we do them by the half metre? Thank you. Right. This is lovely. Do any of your family sew? My funny thing is, and this I didn't realise, I didn't learn this until um, I'd started sewing. My dad's mum yeah. sold fabric. Oh, really? in Nigeria oh I love things like that my mum's mum had her own sewing school gosh and you didn't know this I didn't know this until you started yeah so who got you into sewing was it just purely that you wanted yeah, you were going to tailors and you thought well, I, was, I want to do this myself well it was that I was on maternity leave yeah. for the first time and then again when I was on maternity leave the second time I just was looking for something else to, to do, do other than law something that was perhaps a bit a more family friendly yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so I just started some evening classes in clothes making and tailoring and pattern yeah. cutting and just took it from was there. this in London yes yeah what part of London do you live? Where in about? South London. Oh, amazing. And you, you've come up this morning yeah. <laughs> from 3am this morning. Yeah. So it's midday for you now, isn't it? <laughs> right, so how do we know which is the right and wrong way? Again, with Again, the salvage? with the salvage, yeah. So this is the wrong way. Yep. Right. Now, by the half metre, this one's really fun as well, isn't it? Look at that. How would you use these ones then? Anything. This is quite a, anything, you, anything really. <laughs> Anything. This is such a such an easy one in a way. Um, skirts, pajamas. I mean, just pillows. Yeah, absolutely. Cushions. They're really versatile. Anything. So for anybody again who missed the start of the show, African wax fabric, similar sort of printing technique to batiks, but they are really sort of structured with their yeah. patterns yeah. and uh, and put the so the wax sort of 
stops the dye from going to those exactly. patterns. Is that right? It, that's right. It resists the... Resists. Yeah. <laughs> Four pounds, 99, a yeah. half metre. So you can buy, buy the half metre like we normally do. So if you want, for example, two metres, that's four units in your basket. Um, and uh, yeah, this one is brand new today. This has never been to air before. It's such beautiful, vibrant colours. Really, really lovely patterns. Completely different to anything else that we've seen here. So we're going to fly through as much as we can. Very aware of time. Oh, we need you to come and do a whole <laughs> day with us. It's last amazing. week, uh, lucky I keep saying last week, the last time I was on, yeah. um, I brought bags as well. When so was it that you were here, just so we can uh, watch it back? 29th of March. 29th. 29th of March, I'm, I, I believe it was. So there's, I, I brought some bags, um, book covers that I'd done, jewellery. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, like I'm and so have you noticed. just covered those on yeah. your earrings? I did so notice. I, I took from... From your skirt? Yes. Yeah. Gosh, that's so yeah. good, isn't it? So you could incorporate this into, well, the possibilities are endless, yeah. really. Matching shoes, matching handbag. Purses, everything. Anything. <laughs> four and a half, four, uh, sorry, um, 4 99 for half a metre. Is this still the same 47 exactly wide? Exactly the same, yeah. 47 wide for four pounds, 99 and a half metre. And I love that, um, it's got a slight sort of shine to it. Yes, um, this does after a few washes this shine will come away the okay. colors won't fade but it will perhaps resemble yeah. something more like yeah yeah it's just still got its coating yeah. sort of on its yeah. dressing four pounds 99 and a half meter gorgeous again okay i know that um i don't know whether you've seen one mm. of our guests fiona fiona hesford she oh. um actually has dresses for made out of african oh, wax no. fabrics as well these are a little easier for us to fold, aren't they? <laughs> oh, again, lovely mustard colour. I am thinking again with these, this yeah. would be really nice for home furnishing, actually. Yes, it would. Um, that's the wrong way. Mm. Oh, I'm pleased that you've said about the salvages, because I would literally be saying for so long <laughs> that... Um, the right side. Yeah, I'm not sure which is the right and wrong side. If we hold that up, there you go. <laughs> No, it doesn't make it doesn't make too much of a difference. Don't panic if you've got it the wrong way round. I don't think anybody will be noticing. It is so vibrant though. Any tips though? Do you need anything different with your needle, with your sewing machine? Um, I'd go for the sort of 80, 90 or 100 okay. needles, uh, 12, 14 and 16 sizes. Yeah. Um, wash and press before you cut the fabric. Otherwise, I don't think there's much else. And you say you can just wash this in your yep. washing machine? Yep. Don't need to hand wash or soak it or anything? No, no. no. Put it in your machine? Amazing. No. 30 to 40 you degrees, you said? Yeah, 30 to 40 degrees. That's fine. Four pounds, 99 and a half metre for your heart circles. You can applique. Oh, yeah. For example, here, if you wanted to applique over these designs, you could. Yeah, I mean, I can see some lovely sort of fussy cutting here and just a PK them onto her bags, yes. purses, or yes. just, even just take... Embroidery was what I meant to say. You oh. could embroider. That's what I meant to say, sorry. Not. Oh, that yeah. would look lovely. Yeah. It would give yeah. it more sort of texture exactly. as well, wouldn't it? Exactly. All Premiere, all of these are brand new today. The blues and purples, these are lovely as well. Oh, I can't make up my mum, which is my favourite. <laughs> I think everybody at home is going, I love that one. I'll see the next one. I'll the next one. <laughs> we'll whiz through as much as we can. This one's called Eyes and Lashes. <laughs> just, I looked and it just looked like eyes. Yeah, it does. <laughs> That's really lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous purples. And again, yeah. I mean, you could even sort of cut these out and use them as borders, as a wavy sure. border on yeah, something. Yeah. I do think, though, lots of these, it'd be such a shame to cut them up. I think you need to use them as big, bold prints, even as wall hangings or... Yeah to add a bit of a splash of colour into your home. I'm so bad for it. My okay. home is too neutral and I have said this year for summer, I really want to add, inject some colour in. Sure, some cushions, Yeah. some bright cushions. And actually, because the print speaks for itself, you don't actually need to do too much more, do you? No, you don't. Just four pairs, 99 and a half metre for your eyes and lashes. That's really, really effective. It's my birthday this week as well. Oh, really? 
really? Yeah. When's your when It was your, on Tuesday. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> Did you uh, make yourself a nice party dress? I'm trying to think. No, I don't think I did actually. <laughs> do you make clothes for yourself though? Do you sew for, do you have, make time to sew for no, yourself? No, not really, not really. I just think I've made things anyway, yeah. and so I wear them, yeah. but I didn't necessarily make them for myself. <laughs> right. The amount of people that, um, guest designers that come on and I say, do you find time to sew for yourself? And like, well, I'm too busy, I'm too busy to sew for myself. Oh, lovely, did you have a nice birthday? It was lovely, oh, it was lovely. Good. Because so, it wasn't yours that long ago. No, it was mine, 26th of April. So everybody, I've met so many people that it's birthdays all round this sort of time. <laughs> it's Harriet in the office, it's her 30th on Sunday as well. There's all balloons everywhere at the minute. Oh. <laughs> 4 99 is this um, citrus? Yes. Oh, really lovely for summer. I could see lemons, what's the blue fruit? <laughs> yes, well. <laughs> <laughs> We'll just get creative. <laughs> <gasps> oh, that is lovely. I bet every single one of these has its own story as well. And the time that it's taken, you know, with the printing and the making, it is gorgeous, isn't it? Four pounds, 99 and a half metre. Lots of people buying um, two metres, three metres. Someone buying five metres. Oh, we want to know what you're going to make with these. Let us know. Yeah, really message in and let us know. Are you on the sew sewing quarter fan page? I am, yeah. You're on the fan page. Yes. So you've got to send in pictures when you've made them. Oh, yes. So then you yes, can see. do, do, do. Right. Oh, this looks like um, wheat or barley. Yeah, yeah. Cornfields. Corn there you go. Yeah. And, right, now this one has. A direction doesn't it yes so that's something I should have mentioned earlier right I'll, I'll mention it now so with both um, the one that's on the mannequin and the one I'm wearing I've cut them on the cross grain not right. the straight grain ah, okay and the reason I've cut them on the cross grain is as you've identified they do have some of them have a direction and if they have a direction follow the direction yeah. don't be bound by oh it should be on the straight grain yeah <laughs> yeah absolutely because you'd want that running. You'd want it running down, yeah. That is lovely. Really beautiful colours again. Four pairs, 99 and a half metre. We've got still so many and literally about 10 minutes left. Ten. So we're going to um, plough through. It doesn't have a... a the great Go thing on. about this is, though, because it's the way it's been sort of dyed and printed, is that yeah. it's, it doesn't have a solid colour on the background. It's almost got that lovely... Um, natural feel to it oh. do you know what I mean like can you see the background has got like almost oh, like a yes. linen sort of look to it yes yes it's not a solid color gives it sort of more texture I think yes. green okay this one is called Pintuck. pig's touch <laughs> it just looks like I don't know if you can see just there they're the pin tucks that we'll do on skirts. Oh, it just looks yeah. a bit. <laughs> or big circular fans, don't they? Um, Paul's saying it looks like a jet engine to me. <laughs> no, we're going with pin tucks, boys, in the gallery. <laughs> Talk about romancing the fabric. That's a jet engine. No, it isn't. It's a pin tuck or a lovely. Fan, it's really nice. Again, gorgeous green. Look at how vibrant it is. Bearing in mind, cameras can press the colour, so it's very, very difficult to show you the colour at its best. And yet, it looks amazing on the screen there, but wait until you get it home. Oh, it's beautiful. It is, it's, it's beautiful. really beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. They all are. I can see why you're so passionate <laughs> about these. Okay, these are all still premieres. These are all still premieres. Oh, this one's different as well. Yes. Talk to me about this one. I have, I'm trying to remember what I called this one, flowers in vases. Yeah. It's very nice. Great for a skirt, or a blouse, a jacket. And it's so individual, isn't it? Yes. Imagine if you go to an event or go anywhere, even walking into the shops, yeah. wearing something like this. Definitely. I bet it's a great talking point, isn't it? It is. I mean, I've been stopped quite a few times. People have asked me and who you made it. Do you get that sort of gratification there with that satisfying feeling when you say, 
something I made. Yeah, I made. And it's got pockets. Oh, good, yeah. <laughs> I'm so pleased that you're like all of us. Everything. Every time there's any sort of garment, I'm like, my first question is, is it, has it got pockets? Yeah. If it hasn't got pockets, can we adapt it to put yes. pockets in? Yes. Love a pocket. But that is such a beautiful print, isn't it, again? Completely different to anything else. Flowers in, vial in vases. We were talking about that yesterday with Jules, weren't we? She loves pockets. Okay. Thank you. I've got 10 minutes, 10 minutes. This hour has flown by. Anything we don't get a chance to do, um, you're going to do half an hour. You're going to stay with us for half an hour in the 10 o'clock yes, show. That's Thank fine. you so much no because problem. I know. There was so much that was scheduled for this show, so Adok has very kindly said that she'll stay for our 10 o'clock show and do half of it with um, some sewing and we can show any of these that we don't get the sure, chance to do. Sure, that's fine. Okay. This, these are like eyes again. This is flight oh, of fancy. Yeah, I just saw little birds, almost as if you were a sort of, um, not, not, car not, not cartoon at all, but just a sort of, if you were writing a book, so you've written a book and your images of birds in the book yeah. would be something like that. Yeah. I don't know why that's why. I love that everybody sees something different. different though. Yeah. You can look at a, a fabric and a fabric tells a story, but we all see something different, don't we? Four pairs, 99 and a half metre, that lovely burgundy, beautiful blues. It's gorgeous, this one. Probably yeah. my second favourite. Oh, really? Yeah, really like it. Again, I think this is so versatile for all sorts, isn't it? Bag making, dress making. Yeah. Like you said, even quilting. Yeah. yeah. Don't be afraid to yeah. mix in your African wax fabrics yeah. as well. I think that'll really add yep. texture. It's hundred percent cotton, isn't it? It is. They all they are all hundred percent cotton. Amazing. Four pound ninety nine, a half a meter. Okay. Still all premieres. These are all still premieres. And this is is this Similar, not the same, is Similar. It actually? It's got a sort of the circle. This one's called Look. mustard seed. Yeah, if you just hold this seed. up. Thank you. Mm. Beautiful. Looks a bit like tiles, I think. Yes, it looks it like does. Roman tiles. Yes, it does. Indeed. Mustard seed. I think mustards are just mustards and grey in particular actually are everywhere at the minute at the they're so on trend in home furnishings especially and actually um in in dresses and garments but to have such a unique print yes. is beautiful i'm really excited to see what everybody does with all of these <laughs> let us know your inspiration four pounds 99 does it when you see a fabric mm. when you're sourcing fabric mm. does does it sort of talk to you? Does it yes. sort of say, right, I want to be a yes, dancer, I'm yes. going to be scatter cushions? Yes, it does actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spend so long with them. I know. And when they run out, oh, I'm always so upset oh. because I can't often get them back. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So when you see a print that you like, if you like it, buy as much as you can because the chances of it us being able to bring what? them back yeah. here are slim. Oh, this looks lovely. Are these butterflies? Yes. <laughs> butterflies. That lovely stripe as well. Butterflies on brown. It's like waves, isn't it? That's really lovely. Again, I always think about really sort of making a focal point of, of yes. these yes. big prints. That's why bags are so good. You can kind of literally focus in mm -hmm. on whichever area you want of the fabric. Yeah. And there's plenty of opportunity to do that with fabrics, all of these fabrics. Yep. They've all got, there's so much that we haven't done yet. <laughs> I've just flicked through thinking, oh, I like that, I like that. There's loads. We are going to bring these back in the 10 o'clock show, so stay with us. But that, again, is absolutely gorgeous. They're all so different, though, aren't they? Yep. All yep. really individual. You could pick a few of these yep. and have some really striking outfits. If you're going to summer weddings, sure. can you imagine? They're great, and that's what I meant to say earlier. These are so good as dressy, dressy outfits. Yeah. They really are. They're yeah. fantastic, I think, for special occasions. Yeah, well, I've been um, shopping for my... Um, well, I went shopping with Kieran, my fiancé's mum, for her, her outfit. Yep. And she wears lots of very bright colours, but she doesn't like dressing, dressing up. Oh. So trying to find something that was still bright, but also special yeah. because her son's getting married. So she wanted something really nice. But trying to find that in the store is really hard. Yeah. You either look like a bridesmaid or you look like <laughs> something that's really sort of 
florally and not that bright, quite young. So it's really lovely and refreshing to see such strong prints mm. that still are going to look really stand out and special. And you know that nobody else, lots of the run in the mill stores that you think, yeah, I know exactly where them. that's from. Yes. There's probably yes. going to be four people wearing the same dress. <laughs> And the other thing you could do, um, it's just come to me, that if you're using a commercial pattern that does have lots of pieces, you can kind of panel. So you can kind of have, say your center front panel can be in the wax print, then your side fronts could be in a plain, So what a fabric matching plane. could you complement this with? What fabrics would, if you're using this as a panel, yeah. a block on a, a dress or a skirt, yeah. then if you say pick out one of these ochres yeah. or the browns, yeah. what fabric would you put with this? Yeah, I'd, I'd start with a cotton, yeah. just a plain yeah. cotton, and then develop from there. I suppose you can interface. If it's a lightweight yes, and you're lightweight. worried about it, exactly. interface it exactly. to, to make it similar. Exactly. Amazing. So even if you want to say, right, I'm going to have a go with it, I'm just going to buy a metre, and I'm going to use it in with yep. other yep. fabrics and colours as well, yep. solid colours. Yep. That's a really good way of yep. using it. And lace, actually. Oh, nice. Lace and wax print go so well together. Lace scares me, though. Does it? <laughs> lace scares me. It's actually OK. Yeah? Yeah. OK. It's actually OK. <laughs> but it would look beautiful with lace. OK, only three premieres left. Three premieres left. We're going to try and whiz through all of them um, before the end of this out. This is gorgeous. gorgeous. <laughs> <Yes>. <gasps> Again, right, so that's the back. That's the front. I think I'd have to it's beautiful. buy a few metres of this just so then yep. you can have it yep. running it's this It's always way. worth, um, as I said um, on the last show, it's always worth buying a little bit more than you need. It just gives you room for the pattern matching yep. um, and just sort of being able to work out which direction you want the fabric to go in. Yeah, absolutely. So if you are thinking of making a dress, have a look at your pattern. So can I pick up any of the patterns that I've already got? Mm -hmm. I know you said one of the questions that the lady was asking is, we're bringing you a pattern which is really great for African wax fabrics, mm. but if I've got patterns at home, home. that I want to have yep. a go with... Yep. Still, go for it. Yeah. Go for it. I'd just uh, probably make a twirl if you haven't made one already, yeah. and just sort of... Yeah, because once you've made a twirl, you'll know exactly how it comes together yeah. and then when you're thinking about your panelling or you're thinking about the directions of the print you'll know what will work and what, what, what won't work yeah. so yeah okay this is our penultimate premiere oh, oh this yeah. is fun yeah, isn't this it is a popular one. <laughs> oh, i bet this is popular yeah. so this is called shoals of fish that is amazing I love that. Come on in a bit closer, uh, Jesse, and you can see, look at that print. You can really see the detail in, yeah, in the fish gorgeous, as well. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh, my word. That is so good. Oh, we needed to give you a warning about this one. The phone lines have gone crazy. <laughs> £4.99, half metre, shoals of fish. I love the colour of it as well. It's a very sort of... I was going to say, like, mm. a really breath of pink in the background. Oh, what sort yeah. of colour would you say yeah. that was in the background? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not the best with colours, actually. <laughs> I know, yeah. ironic, but there we are. <laughs> because I, don't, I know that you're not coming to it yet, but by way of example, there's this one, which is coming yeah. later. You know, I see red, and everyone else orange. sees orange. Yeah. So I don't know, I'm just not... It's, I mean, um, when I say pink, I don't mean pink. No, it's I, just I know what you mean, just that sort of breath. hue. Yeah. yeah. It's lovely. £4.99. Right, should we do one more premiere? And then what we're going to do is... Oh, if we can fit any more fabrics in, brilliant. If not, then we'll bring any of them back in the 10 o'clock show. Oh, this is, this is like psychedelic. This is really fun. 70s, maybe. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is lovely. How fun is that? Yeah. Great for a summer party, I think, this <gasps> one. That is gorgeous. I'm even thinking like summer cushions for outside. Oh, yes. Alfresco dining's our next hour. This would be lovely for that. Oh, it's, it's quite sort of, um, you know when you go into like a mirror maze and you see all different, it's got so many different levels. It's yeah. a bit of a, um, an optical illusion. Ooh. £4.99, a half metre. This is called Necklaces. Oh, I do love that. That's one of my favourites. Oh, no, it's gorgeous. 
those colours are amazing together. Yeah. Yes, they and are. I, it just that is such fun, isn't it? That is like summer personified. I love <laughs> it. Four pounds ninety nine and a half meter. Looks great on the screen. When we're talking about alfresco dining in the next hour, just have this fabric in <laughs> mind, actually, because I think that's amazing. Loads of people have got that in the basket. I don't think you're going to see that one again. <laughs> right, we've got one minute. Let's do one more, just to give you a bit of a teaser of what we've got coming up still in our 10 o'clock hour. Now, they're all the premieres. They're all underneath us on the web. We've still got some of the favourites from last, last time. time. Oh, yeah. So you say you were here the 29th of I March? I think it was the 29th of March. Do you want to watch that show back on YouTube? Oh, we're the wrong yeah. way around. <laughs> oh, hang on. So, the Wild Plains. Yeah, That's Wild incredible. Plains. You do get a lot of prints with animals. Yeah. Not, not so much. You used to. You still get them, but not as much as you used to. That's amazing. Brilliant. Okay. Thank you very, very much. It's Thank been you. amazing. Lovely. Um, so we're going to be seeing you again in an hour. Don't Great. forget, <laughs> we're going to be introducing uh, a brand new pattern. It's the yes. first time you bought a pattern for yes. us. So we're really looking forward to that. Thank you Thank very, you very much. much. I okay. really lovely. enjoyed that. Don't go anywhere. Speaking of all these lovely bright fabrics, we've got our fresco dining coming up with Louisa right after this. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Da -da -da. How exciting is this? Your first Very pattern exciting. on television. Very exciting. Um, no, because this is something that is relatively new to you, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. So it you've is. Um, started developing your own patterns yes. from the sheer fact that a lot of people are asking you Correct. how and how do you work with your wax Correct. prints and Correct. also um, what do I make with them? So exactly. I'm going to make my own pattern. Yes, yes. Amazing. Here it is. Here's the first one. So talk us through um, this pattern because sure. you told me that this is going to be great for beginners. It's I'm going to be able to do it. For, it's, <laughs> it's perfect <laughs> for beginners and perfect for people who are um, unfamiliar with sewing with wax prints but want to make clothes with wax prints but are maybe unsure about how to do it. Um, it's a very, very simple pattern. Okay. It literally has two pattern pieces. We can take it yeah. and have a look. Oh, it's um, lovely quality pattern paper as well. Yes, isn't yes. It? So um, you've literally got uh, one piece for the skirt, front and back, cut two on the fold, and then you have your pocket piece cut four. Amazing. And by, and by all means, you can make your pocket in a contrasting fabric. Oh, so that you could because they're yeah. inseam. So in they're inseam yeah. pockets. They're quite big, aren't they? They are <laughs> perfect. There's a nice big pocket, but I do love that. That is, um, yeah, I could get Paul in there. <laughs> it's lovely, isn't it? So, um, but I love the fact again. There's not um, there's not too many different things. No. It's elasticated waist. It's an elasticated waistband, an integrated oh. waistband. So once you've um, cut out your pieces, once you've put everything together, including the pockets, you then um, fold at the waist, I mean I can go into this in more detail, you yeah. fold at the waist um, a quarter of an inch and then fold again a generous inch mm -hmm. so you can then thread through your elasticated waistband. I mean a, lo a lot of patterns will say to just fold an inch but I then find you're forcing right, okay. the elastic through so I'd say an, an, an inch and an eighth so right. give yourself that extra kind of ease if you like yeah. to get you elastic. And then in your sort of instruction yes. um, booklet yes. here, does it talk through how to, to to work with specifically wax fabrics or can we use any fabric? Oh you can part? use any fabric for this pattern. Yeah. Um, the first step I always say is to wash and press yeah. the fabric before you start cutting out. Yeah. With the pattern, I would trace. Okay. So I just, it? yeah. yeah, it's nice to do it. Yeah. It doesn't take a second. Yeah. Just um, get some tracing paper, trace round, mark your notches. There's only five notches. One at the waist, two at the side seam, and then two at the side seam for the pocket. You also have a lengthening and shortening line. Lengthening so if you and want to make lines. this longer, shorter. Yep, it's up to you. Amazing. And I do think you're right, because I think people are going to want to ask you to make them in their size. So if you've cut it out in your size, we're always changing shape. Exactly. You can exactly. then make another one. Yeah. Or make for someone else. That's or, it. Yep. Amazing. So what parts do you want to show? Because we're going to do a bit of sewing. Sure, we'll do a bit of we? sewing. Um, I think the first thing I would want to show is just sort of pattern matching because I know that it's something that 
some people may be comfortable with, but not everyone is. Well, with your fabrics, I think it's really, it is quite important because it is all about the patterns yes. and it's all about the prints. Yes, and you it want is. to keep that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you do. I agree. I agree. So what we have here then, this is um, the skirt front and back. So you can see they're identical pieces. Um, what I decided to do here was to kind of have this strip as the front. Yeah. Front centre, I yeah. should say. So that would be your design running down the front in the middle. And then, um, just to sort of show, if I turn it this way, so the thing with pattern matching is that you literally try and find the repeat. Now, not all of the patterns, the prints, I should say, have an rep exact repeat. repeat. Okay. It may look like an exact repeat until you try and match it <laughs> and you realise that it's, for whatever reason, maybe just the way it's come through mm -hmm. the roller machines, yeah. it just isn't quite an exact repeat. I mean, in those circumstances, you might want to fussy cut. Mm -hmm. You might want to kind of have everything facing you right side up, find the bit you want and find it again and yeah. then bring it together that yeah. way. This was... This wasn't too bad. I was able to find the exact. So that's what you literally do. So you find the repeat, you match it up, you match it up, and then you'll know that when you've sewn it all together, you will have an exact front and back. Gosh, amazing, yeah. yeah. I hope that makes sense. It does absolutely make sense. And I think this is a really great one to practice doing that with because sure. so many people get even with bag making these skills is really transferable yeah, so aren't definitely they? definitely so then um what you would do so you start right side to right side I'm sure that's right side to because right it's quite side. a large print and yep. lots of these are quite large prints yep. it's not easy to sort of see quite often yep. i'm looking up right where is the repeat yeah, and how the repeat? am i gonna <laughs> yeah. do this so to do it with you know with a william morris or something then it would be so hard to oh yeah to match. yeah yeah so it's really lovely to learn on something that it is so bold and colorful yes, and yes. bright prints so um what... and your huge pockets and huge pockets <laughs> So what you would do is you take your um, pocket pieces and lay them again right side to right side. So if I turn these this way round, so now, now the right also, side. Also, how do you know that now you've cut them? Now did you I've say cut you them. do a yes, chalk I mean, marking? I do normally. Mm. I haven't with these ones, but for some reason um, my eyes are working today and I can tell that that's the right side. So and this is the wrong side, that's the right side. So I'm going to get another one. Lovely. And so there are, there are notches um, slightly down from the waist line, and then you'll match those to the pockets. The, the only other thing to remember is that because you lose, because it's an integrated waistband, mm -hmm. you lose a little bit with the folding. Right, so don't put your favourite pattern. Yeah. That's at the top, it. shimmy it down shimmy a bit. Shimmy it down a bit. And you lose a tiny bit again at the hem. Okay. So same sort of thing. Get your pins. So have you mm. ventured away from um, dressmaking as well? Have you started doing any other bag making, home it's furnishing? It's funny, you know, bag making was sort of the first thing I did. Really? Yeah. yeah. Bags are really difficult. Yes. I mean, like they are because there's so much in them. There's so much, even, the, even your, maybe apart from your very basic tote bag, but once you're kind of moving up from there, I know you have um, Miss Lamb on tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're really complicated. Yeah. <laughs> so if you've got those sort of skills though, they are supposed yeah, to transfer a lot the time up. They, they are. Now I used to make loads of bags. Um, yeah, that was fun. It's just finding the time now. Busy, busy, busy. Now you're coming here as well. You've <laughs> got to keep doing more shows here. Yeah. We'll get you making bags, home furnishings. Yes, busy, busy. yes. So put your pockets together. Whoops. Lots pocket. of people have got your pattern in the baskets, Ooh. by the way. Well done if you've got it already. <laughs> if you haven't yet checked it out, please do. Um, we, I say that we're limited. We've got quite a few of these, but we've got less than 100. So I still think that they're probably going to sell out in the show. Please do be quick and uh, on checking out. What's your uh, seam allowance on this thing? So um, to start with, when you're just attaching, so effectively you attach the four uh, pocket pieces to each side of the front and back at the side seams mm -hmm. um, using a quarter of an inch oh, nice seam again. allowance. 
So I'd start just above where they meet and then where the pa pocket mm -hmm. meets the panel and then just below, finish just below. So you wouldn't at this stage sew the length? No, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. I have a similar machine at home because you were saying that they're owned by the same company. Oh uh, yeah, Eleanor and Janome are under the same umbrella, aren't they? They, they are, so yeah, you'll probably find that it's, it's quite similar. Good morning. Um, in love with these fabrics, <laughs> how many metres do I need for the skirt? Two. Two metres, no matter what size, because this is size 8 to 18, isn't it? Two's fine. Two's fine. I mean, if, if it's a large print and you're worried about the pattern matching, you can go for two and a half to three. But if it's a smaller print, two is fine. Okay. And is that, how about if I wanted to do a longer skirt? If you wanted to do a longer skirt, go again, I'd go for three. three. Yeah. But otherwise, yeah. Amazing. Have we got this fabric, actually? We should do. I'm pretty sure we do. Let's see if I've got this fabric. Swirling purple, this is called. Pretty sure you've got it. I've got it. <laughs> I won't lose the order though, Chris. <laughs> yeah. So by the half metre, that's what it looks like. Check I've got the front. Yep. Oh, it's gorgeous. Isn't that such an amazing colour? Um, the grabbings are coming in, so you're saying two metres to three metres? Two to three metres, depending on length, depending on um, size of print. Yeah. In fact, on the back of the packet, yep. it's got your um, sizes yep. and fabric requirements. Yep. So if you do want a closer look at that, that is the second image on the web. Um, so you'll be able to have a bit of a, a look at the different sizes. Lovely and clear. <laughs> really nice and clear. So is this the start of many patterns, yes, hopefully? Yes, so I've got, I've got two more in the pipeline. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. What was the first garment you made? It out was a of skirt. A, a skirt? Yes, yeah, so it was an or orange, orange fabric print yeah. skirt. It's very nice. And you still have it? You still wear it? Yeah, I still yeah. wear it. Still wear it. Sorry, I've gone quiet. So I'm literally just, with the quarter inch, seam allowance, just attaching the pocket. Do you do any patchwork? No. No. I just thought when you say quarter of an inch seam, I thought, oh, oh maybe that's <laughs> <transparent one." laughs> It's so that it's hidden when you yeah. do your proper seam. Right. Okay, and so you have now begun to attach your pocket pieces. So they just look like big ears out <laughs> the side, don't they, at the minute? There you go. There you do the exact same thing on the um, other panel, okay. skirt panel. And then once you've done that, so imagine. So your front and the back are essentially the, exactly identical. the same. Identical. Amazing. There's a little thing you might do. Um, if, I don't know how to explain this. But if, for whatever reason, you wanted your back a bit longer, yeah. you can do that. Yeah. So if this is your back panel on the pattern piece or on the piece you've traced, drop down two inches okay. and then curve up to the point where it would naturally, your hem would have been, okay. but for the alteration. Yeah. That and that will it's because, because some people if it's even length the back is shorter yeah of it, course it depends if you you know if you want to if you do want a bit of extra room in the back we're trying to be discreet here guys <laughs> but also i must say if you've been doing your squats and you want a bit of extra room or i'm thinking i've seen these beautiful dresses that are slightly longer at the back sure high low lovely as yeah. well those high -low, really graduating yeah. with it's, these prints yeah i mean it's, it's essentially a high low okay just as you say um graduated okay so yeah. you just curve it round. you just curve it round other otherwise your seams won't match yeah, so yeah. there are still pattern hacks you can do, of aren't course. there? Of course, yeah. love a pattern hack. Yeah, everyone loves a pattern hack. So you would, once you've, would you like me to attach the other two or just explain? Uh, we'll just explain. Just explain. So once we'll you've um, done the same on the other side, so imagine you've got your other um, 
pocket pieces here, you would join them, if I just bring them here, so literally, you join them together, the pocket pieces, they're one. all in, oh, no. stuck inside <laughs> the fabric. It. There, there, there's one. Oh, perfect. You would uh, join it here, like so, and then um, you would you would then sew your front and back together with the pockets, pocket pieces attached. So you start at the top, come down a bit, um, pivot, yeah, come around. When you uh, begin at the waistband, you start with a one and a half inch seam. And then once pivot and you come into the pocket piece, reduce it to a centimetre. Okay. I meant one and a half centimetres. Okay. And then reduce to a centimetre at the pocket. Okay. Come all the way around, pivot again, back to 1.5 and down to the end. Right, okay. Okay. And that, and there you have. That's your skirt. If, yeah. Don't uh, sew all the way down because you'll close your pocket. Okay, yeah, Because that's very easy to yeah, do, because it's intuitive, on. you just... Make sure yeah. you go all the yeah. way around. Yeah. And then your elasticated waistband. Yes, so the elasticated waistband, you literally um, turn under with the wrong side facing you, turn under a quarter of an inch, which is really fussy and fiddly, but isn't very much at all. It's about that. Press. Press is really easily. Mm. Um, you yeah, it's easy. lovely fabric. Yeah, press, press is really easily. You, sh you shouldn't need pins for that. And then turn over again. What I would say, and for that, I would use seam gauge. Yeah. And I'd probably just go to one and an eighth okay. of an inch, literally, just to give you that extra room. Press under. Turn under there. Here, I would use pins because you've got you know more fabric to work with, and press again, then sew around, leaving a gap of mm -hmm. about two inches, and you use that gap to thread your elastic through, yeah. gathering the waistband yeah. as you do. Now, I know that you know, we're conscious of this area, many of us, but it's not actually, it's quite a light gather. Okay. It's not a very full yeah. gather at all. It's just sort it's of... It's really flattering, actually, it's quite isn't flattering, it? Yeah, I think. it is. And really comfortable. You're definitely going to be able to go and have your Sunday roast dinner <laughs> and a pudding with no problem wearing this and still look amazing. And still look amazing. The yeah. tides are multiple of sins. Yes. Hi, ladies. Love this fabric. How wide is it? 47 inches. 47 inches wide. <laughs> um, great demonstration. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I've had loads of messages for you. Um, Hi Vix and Adaku, I met this lady at a show earlier on the year. She kindly took a photograph with me. Love seeing her back. Come uh, again soon, please. Aww. That's Angela and Essex. Thank you, Angela. Thank you for Don't the worry, lovely we'll messages. Don't worry, we'll make sure you've <laughs> got to come back. Um, Emma in Bristol. I like to make the skirt longer in the back. <laughs> <laughs> As I... Endowed? Endowed in the booty. <laughs> Great tip. There you go. <laughs> no, I thought I we were trying to be really discreet. You know, maybe you just want a bit of extra room. Yes. But thank you, Emma. Okay. okay. Yep. And then the hem. Really simple. You would literally turn under a quarter of an inch. Again, with it um, facing you, the wrong side facing you. Turn under a quarter of an inch, and then I do a half press and just all the way around. Amazing. Thank you very, very much. You're very welcome. Um, just so you know, the embroidery machines are going to be coming up after the fabric. So, should we fly through these fabrics? So, we had this one. We've done this one already, haven't we? So, that one was in the last hour. If you want to have a look at any of the fabrics, if you missed the 8 o'clock show, have a look underneath us on the web and you'll see it. So, can you just remind yeah. us about um, your fabrics and, and sort of where it all began, your, the concept of you going to source these fabrics? In terms of when I first started sewing? Yeah, or? so what, what inspired you to, to put together your own range and your own collection? I think it was, I actually, I remember watching The Last Sewing Bee. Okay. Not the, yes, the last one before it kind of had a break for two years. Yeah, yeah. And With was, Charlotte Newland. Yes, yeah, yeah. and it was shortly after that one that I started the classes. Okay. It, it, was, it was strange. I didn't immediately watch it and think, oh, I want to do dressmaking. Yeah. But then later on, when I was thinking about something I might do, um, other than law, it was dressmaking that came to mind. And so I just started some classes. And yes, I mean, in terms of sourcing the fabric, I suppose I get inspiration from many different things. Um, and I really enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. It, they are beautiful, aren't they? Thank I mean, you. there's 
there's nothing else that I've seen like this. They are stunning. And they're um, African wax fabric as well. Yeah, so yeah. what does that mean? So they are, essentially, in terms of the history of the fabric, um, this is lovely. it goes back to a time when the Dutch ruled Indonesia. Okay. And so you mentioned batik yeah. because the inspiration is batik. Right. Because when the Dutch ruled Indonesia, they saw the hand dyeing that the Indonesians were doing yeah. with their fabric. Yeah. And they wanted to imitate it. Yeah. And but do it by machine, not by hand. Okay. And flood the Indonesian market with the imitations. Right. But the Indonesians didn't like them. Okay. Because as I mentioned with the imperfect repeats, sometimes the, the, there are imperfections yeah. that creep into the fabric. Right. But those imperfections were, were the very thing that the West Africans, loved who I think it, yeah. loved about yeah. it, because I think at the time, there were West African um, mercenaries who were beefing up the East Indian Army, right. the East Indonesian Army, and they would see the fabric and then I think and, and liked it, and so I think what the Dutch began to do was to somehow go via West Africa when they were traveling around trading, and so eventually, because the West Africans liked it so much, they would then make them for that market. Right. Hence, African print. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it is amazing. But it's a bit of a. <laughs> Bit of a no, story. <laughs> no, it's amazing. I love to. I love to hear your passion for it as well. This one's called Sea Breeze and Sunshine, <laughs> and that absolutely is just such a vibrant colour, isn't it? I think that's what absolutely amazes me because these are 100% cotton, aren't yeah. they? They are cotton, and the colours are it's just, just incredible. incredible. Yeah. And uh, so they're at 47 wide. 47 wide. For the skirt, you say we're going to need yeah, two, two, two to three. Two to three metres, yeah. depending on the size and length. Yeah. That's four to six units. Have a go, have a play. I mean, don't just stop at dressmaking. No. Think further than that. You were saying bag making, home yeah. furnishing, yeah. even quilting, yeah. patchwork. Anything. It is 100% cotton. It feels like it's got a slight sort of dressing on it, which you say after a few washes. Yeah, it comes off, yeah. yeah. So yeah. you would recommend get it home, yeah. give it a good wash first. Give it a good wash first. And don't press. be scared of washing it, because I no, always no, get no. a bit concerned no. when we do talk about batiks. Yeah. Everyone's this has been washed. Preferences. This has been washed. Feels lovely. This yeah. has been washed. Yeah, and it's still so bright. It's not lost yeah, any of its no, colour. Not at all. It's amazing. And I saw you pressing this earlier on this morning, <laughs> and it presses beautifully yeah. as well. This one's flowers in fuchsia. Oh, in fact, okay. I think that's the right way around now. That is amazing. That would look stunning as a dress, wouldn't it? It would. It like really you said, works. right, if these, if you are thinking, oh, I don't know whether they're too bold for me, why not block them with another yeah, colour? Yeah. You could pick out a, that solid cobalt blue and just do a panel exactly. with this colour. Because yeah. that is amazing, isn't it? I think we all have got it in us a bit that we think, right, I'm going out and I'm going to buy something bright or I want to wear bright clothing yes. and then end up buying something that's probably more a bit subtle. But why not dive in? <laughs> And especially having something that you've created, it's a great talking point, and I think a lot of people are going to ask you about these fabrics. Yes. Do you find you get lots of compliments? Lots, or, yeah. lots. <laughs> in the most unusual places as yeah, well. Yeah, I was going to say, even living in London, you know, we've got so much, um, we're so lucky that we do have so many, um, which, which one is it? Are you going to change it to this one? Sorry, I had the wrong graphics in. <laughs> but I do think we have such, um, all have such eclectic sort of tastes and lots of, um, there's so much fabric stores and lots of different variety out there. Yet this, I think, is so unique, isn't it? Do you know what this one's called? Water Creatures. Water Creatures, Chris? Oh, I don't know if we've got the graphics of this one. No. OK, we'll come back if we find <laughs> it. We'll come back if we find it. OK. This one's Sweetheart. <laughs> I think someone in your team saw donuts. <laughs> oh. I think uh, we always see donuts here. <laughs> Party rings and donuts. Anything related to food. I see watermelon, those lovely pinks oh, and yes. greens. Now, just remind us mm. how I know which sure. is the reverse. Because look, if I show you both of them, the reverse to me looks very, identical. very similar. Sure. Yeah, if not identical, actually. <laughs> so it's, it's the salvage. It's the writing on the salvage. Um, okay. Which, on the right side, you can read clearly as you would um, any normal text, 
but on the wrong side looks like it's been written upside down yeah and yeah. might be in a mirror so that's the right way you can see yep that would be the wrong way um, so Hilary's just asked, can you just explain again, what, what does the wax, wax fabric make? So essentially, it's the printing process. So what started off as a plain white sheet of cotton will have um, wax resin applied to it. After the wax resin has been applied to it, they will then add two base colours. Um, those two base colours will add to what then becomes the vibrancy and the richness of the, of, of, of the fabric. Because wax has been applied, the two dyes will resist the fabric. Sorry, the two dyes will resist the areas where the wax has been applied, therefore creating a pattern. Ah, oh, it's terrible. And then there'll be another layer, and that other layer will be this design or mm -hmm. this design. Right. And again, wax will be used, the dyes will be applied, and the dyes will resist the wax in certain areas to create a pattern. Oh, amazing, thank you. <laughs> Sue's messaged in. Uh, my uh, daughter was volunteering uh, last year out in Togo. in Togo and brought me back loads of beautiful African wax oh. fabrics. Really inspired me oh, now. Oh, good, good. I think that's it. A lot, a lot of, of people get it. Yeah, and they, they say, get it and they don't know what do to do with it. And that's, that's yeah, I, I, yeah. <laughs> You're inspiring everybody yeah, to get trying. the sewing machine out. Yep. So, yep. And quite often, I mean, it's and not it always that... And it is meant to be worn. I mean, I mean it, Africans I, wear it. It's yeah. meant to be worn. I know that they're beautiful and you think... Well, oh, you, you just don't said with to, the chandelier yeah, one. Yeah, I, you know, too scared, I, don't I don't even know. I do understand, but they are meant to be worn. So wear them, yeah. Oh, wow, look at that one. <laughs> that is again, amazing. Bright blues. Once in a blue moon. <laughs> That is really nice, isn't it? It's got such great sort of depth and texture to it, hasn't it? Yes. All the different scales print, it's lovely. The geometric prints are always some of our favourites. Are they? 4 99 half metre. 4 99 half metre. It's great price as well, actually, isn't it? Is. it? Really, really, really great price. Really good price. <laughs> 4 99 that's what half a metre looks like. So even if you get half a metre, and what about thinking about fussy cutting, some mm. of those big circular prints, mm. and appliquing them onto oh, wow. bags, projects? Like you said, don't be afraid of no. mixing this in with yep. fabrics you've already got in yep. your stash. Yep. It doesn't necessarily need to be another wax nope. fabric. Not at all. Amazing. Okay. We've got... Right, we're going to fly through these okay. now. We've got so much. I'm just going to hold it. I feel like I want to open them out because yeah. the print is the, yeah. so amazing. Yeah, I love this one. I love this one. Yeah, I really like the colours on nice. this. What, what, does, what was this talking to you saying? What does this want to be? Oh, that's difficult. Um, cushions, definitely. Mm. Just because you've got such, you know, room for such an amazing centre panel. Yeah. Really, I mean, I remember, I, I think I had this in a red oh, colourway. Oh, yeah. And a woman in France made the most beautiful cushions. Or is skirt again, dressmaking, it look amazing. I can imagine this, on your holidays. Hopefully we're going to have a nice warm summer here again in the UK this year. Apparently there may be a heat wave, but oh. we'll see. <laughs> good, 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 good. Love a bit of our fresco dining, bright colours, these are amazing. This one, what does this remind me of? I've seen these colours again together are beautiful. Orange and blue. Um, this is Dreaming in Blue. Or, as Chris likes to say, this reminds me of Spider-Man. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is a love Spider-Man. This is brilliant <laughs> for me. Four nights and a half metre. Now, anyone that gets this home is only going to see Spider-Man Spider -Man now, yeah. Sorry about that. It's beautiful. This is the... Oh, yes! That's why I know. I just thought... I know this. Why do I know it? Fiona Hesford, who I was talking about earlier on, she's one of our demonstrators. Yeah. She's got a dress made out of this. Oh, wow. That's why I recognise it. I think her photograph, that whenever we see her on the adverts, I'm sure. Oh. I've got a feeling it might be this dress. Yeah. Full pairs, I did half metre. Okay. Have you got any... Um, so what's the next dressmaking pattern that you're going to be launching? Tops. Tops. Yeah. Two tops. Definitely one top, okay. possibly two tops. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, we definitely need more inspiration. Because, because again, um, a lot of people I meet, 
they want to buy just a meter mm -hmm. or a meter and a half. And I'll ask them, oh, what do you want to make with it? And they always say tops. Yeah. A lot of people want to make tops, so yeah. Well, I think it's, if, if I, I were to think of making a, a, a skirt or trousers or anything, it seems a lot more sort of complex, doesn't it? Than sure. it is. I mean, that was brilliant. That was oh, so good. simple and easy. Good. I mean, lots of people are checking out on the pattern. There's still good. availability. If you do want to make the most of it, as I said, we have got enough, but we have got less than 100. So please be quick on checking it out smaller quantity than um, we'd normally have for patterns so please do make the most of it half a meter this is your crescent orange yes okay that's a really lovely print it's isn't gorgeous, it that one. and that one you don't need to worry too much about pattern matching it's going to be a lot no. easier to yes to this one match. you don't have to worry about pattern matching i think a maxi dress oh yeah yeah that looked lovely did you watch the Great British Sewing Bee this oh, year? Yes. I bet you watched it so differently then to when you watched it the, the time yes. before after yeah, all your very classes. differently <laughs> Are you going to enter it? You should go on it. <laughs> You're not the first person who said that. Yeah, you should. <laughs> These are, oh, I think this is one of my favourites. Butterflies with the teal, pink butterflies. It is really beautiful quality as well. Remember, this is 100% cotton. The colours are so vibrant, and I know I sound like a broken record saying that over and over again, but it's because on the TV... I mean, it looks great on my monitor, but wait until you get this home and see it in the flesh. There is a reason why so many people love this fabric. It's so, so vibrant. £4.99 and a half meter. Okay, we are got one, two, three, four, five more. That's it. They're all so different though, aren't they? Yes, yes. Look at that one. In fact, I'm going to open this out again because you need to see the repeat. Lovely. That's so tropical, isn't it? Very. That is really nice. Have you got any holidays to look forward to this year? Not at the moment, no. Oh, well, as I say, I'm hoping <laughs> we get lovely weather here. <laughs> hoping we get really nice weather. Okay. I've got, I've got quite a few shows. So. Oh, yeah, so where yeah, can I'm, we see you next? So, so a lot of people I'm at, them at your shows. Oh, I'm, I'm at Thread right. in uh, Maltings. Yeah. Surrey, I think that is. In Surrey, yeah? In Surrey. Yeah. It's called Thread. Okay. Thread. Um, I'm in Festival of Quilts. Oh, brilliant. Uh, Ali Pali. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you are busy. You've got I am busy. Um, where else? Oh, Handmade Fair. Oh, lovely. At Hampton Court. And I can't remember, it begins with an H and it's in Yorkshire. You know, right. the, the Upper Street event. Mm. Up, up in Yorkshire, begins with an H. Will, will they all be on your website They'll anyway? They'll all be on the website. All be on the website, so if you want to go um, along, then definitely send in your photographs as well to the Stone Quarter fan page of what you make with these, because you're on the fan page, aren't yes. you? You'll be able to see them all. This is nice. <laughs> okay, look at that. So how would you position this? Yeah, would you well, position you this could as... actually, you, you could cut it on the bias. Yeah. And then you'd have a straight... Let me show you, like that. Like this. So then it would be straight running down. Exactly. That would make a beautiful front panel, wouldn't it? Of a dress again. How inspired are we all? <laughs> Four pounds and a half meter for the skirt. You only need two meters, maybe two and a half, or I would potentially give yourself three. Um, so then you can choose, right, do I want a longer length? Yep. I want to play around with the, the Direction. Print. Yeah, yep. that's yep. it. Okay, the stars, this is good fun. Oh, the stars, <laughs> yeah. They're great. They oh, are. wow, wow, yeah. wow. I'm thinking even things like storage tubs. Oh, you know, yeah. storage tubs yeah. for all of yeah. your haberdashery things. Yeah, <gasps> buffets are they called? P -p yeah, yeah. Barbecues. Like our alfresco uh, dining set that we had earlier on. That would look amazing out in the garden in the summer. Four pounds, ninety-nine and a half metre. Or, again, fussy cut. You could do, because you've got so many different, all the colourways, it all looks completely different. You've got stars and stripes. Yep. yep. Amazing. Last one. Ooh. Thank you so much for staying. Oh, that's okay. few hours, by Thank the way, you as well. I know that the docker was, was only supposed to be here for the one hour, so I'm really, really pleased that we got to show all of these as well. Oh, that one's lovely as well. Even children's clothes. Yes. That would be so cute, wouldn't it? Yeah. There's a little, um, a little dress or a little tracksuit, a little jumpsuit, a hoodie. Yeah. Jessie's agreeing. Yeah. <laughs> 
£6.99, a half metre. So bright, very superhero feel to that one. I love it. Six pound ninety nine half meter. So all of the webs, all of the uh, fabrics that we've seen today, even the premieres that we had earlier on at eight o'clock, they're underneath us on the web. If you want to have a recap, it's Lovely. been an absolute pleasure to Lovely have you. To meet you. When are you going to come back then? Do you know? I don't know yet. Oh, soon. <laughs> come back when you've got your top pattern as well. Yes, I'll come back. Because that's amazing. Yep. Thank you very, very oh, much. Thank you so much. So lovely to meet you. We've had lots of lovely messages. Oh, in fantastic. Well. Brilliant. We'll see you soon. Take care. Thank you. Thank Bye -bye. you. Right. So what we're going to do for the rest of the show is.